Well, while most nine-year-olds spend their spare time playing sport or obsessing over computer games, young Tyler Armstrong has something bigger in his sights. The fourth grader will attempt to become the youngest person to climb Argentina's Mount Aconcagua next month, the highest peak in the Western and Southern Hemispheres. Look, now, Tyler is no novice. When he was seven, he became the youngest person to climb Mount Whitney in one day, and last year he became the second youngest person to climb Kilimanjaro. We are pleased to say that Tyler and his dad Kevin join us now from LA. Good morning to you both. Tyler, what is it about Aconcagua that makes this the challenge? Well, right after Kilimanjaro, I want I told my dad I want to do something bigger. <laughs> and then we, we and then we looked up Aconcagua and then we just said we want to do it. So that's how we want to do Aconcagua now. Right. How'd you get into climbing, Tyler? Well, my, when my dad was little, he did it with his father, so I just kind of got the bug to do it. Oh, good on you. Kevin, do you, do you get sort of um, nervous at all when, uh, when Tyler sets off on these terrific treks, or you have utter confidence in his abilities? I have confidence in his abilities. He's done all the training, he's taken mountaineering classes, he, he hikes all the time, he climbs. He's, he's done everything that, you know, to show that he can do it safely. So I don't, I'm not that concerned about it because he does it um, with, with, such, um, with he has such great abilities at doing it and he's proven he can do it. Uh, Kevin, it takes a, a great amount of emotional and mental maturity, I would imagine, uh, to do these sort of, of hikes. Um, how do you think Tyler has, has, well, how has he got himself ready? Or Tyler, you could answer that yourself. Is a lot of it mind work? Um, yes, because it's mostly mental, because if I'm at the top of Mount Aconcagua cold and I don't want to go back down, I have to use my mind so I can say I want to go, I, I have to get to the top, then go down. Yeah, no, fair enough. You've got to push through that pain barrier. Um, uh, and Tyler, tell me, are you anticipating that um, the parts of this trek are going to be really tough. I mean, is is the air thin at the top of Aconcagua, for example? Is, is it really, really cold? Yes, it's going to be negative 20 degrees, and my biggest threat to it is going to be the cold. Oh, yeah, bad. indeed. Wow. Tyler, you're also raising money for, for a special cause. Tell us about that. Well, I'm climbing Mount Aconcagua for a muscular dystrophy called Duchenne. It oh. only affects boys. It's how they, they after a long period of time, th their muscles don't go back, and then by the age of 12, they just can't walk. Yes, well, that, that is a terrific cause. I mean, any particular reason why you, you are associated with that cause? Well, I do it because I can walk, but they can't, so oh, I'm boy. using my muscles for them. Good yeah, on that's you, amazing. Mate. Now, now, Kevin, you had to get special permission, apparently, from the Argentinian government to do this. Was that a difficult process? Well, we haven't gotten the permission yet. What we've had is we've hired some attorneys that have gotten the permission for other kids that have attempted this, uh -huh. uh, to climb this mountain. So we're going down about a week earlier to go through the court system mm. and apply to the government to get those permits. Um, they're fairly confident that Tyler will get those permits based on the, the mountains he's climbed and the records he's kind of set and that he's taken these classes and proven he can do it. So Good. they're fairly confident he'll get it. So that's the first week we're down there, we'll be going through the court system. Now, <clears throat> Tyler, I can't believe I'm asking this question because I'm always telling my own sons who are your age, just concentrate on one thing at a time. <laughs> just the thing in front of you right now, okay? But I'm going to ask anyway, you're doing this because it was bigger than the last mountain. After Aconcagua, where do you go next? Well, after Aconcagua, I want to climb Mount McKinley, just we don't have the money to afford it. Right. Ah, okay. Yeah, I imagine it's, it's quite expensive to do these to do these things, is it, Kevin? It, it is expensive. I mean, we've been lucky. We've gotten some um, donations from some gear companies because he's a growing boy. He grows out of gear really quickly. <laughs> and he does it for charity. He does it all for charity, so it is kind of expensive and... Um, you know, to do these sorts of things. So we'll kind of see where it goes from here now. Well, Tyler, we wish you the very, very best of luck in your summit attempt. Um, I hope you're going to send us some photos when you're at the top, you know, planting that uh, Duchenne flag on behalf of all those kids you're walking for. Break a leg, as we say in show business, though not in but mountaineering. Not really. uh, and Kevin, <laughs> thank you also for joining us this morning. Cheers. Fantastic. Thank you.
Thank you. What a great dad son thing to do. Oh, too. extraordinary, huh? Must just They're be beautiful. So tight. Yeah. yeah. How unreal. Good luck. All right, more of weekends.